first Sky Venture Challenge. It's a great meeting of the minds, we could say. Anything is possible in here. We have 12 feet of space, and if you can fly in that 12 feet of space, you can do anything your mind can come up with. Time and space, man. It's all about time and <laughs> space. <laughs> they express themselves creatively and artistically. There's no, it's not really like a competition where people are trying to get better or be better than the others. I think it's more really sharing something that's good. Everyone is so supportive of everyone. I really like the fact that we're all judging each other. These are competitors are brought here from different parts of the world to show you guys some, some of the new tricks that are being able to be done now. It's a good competition today. People are busting out some really good stuff and hopefully we can, we can stay off the walls and do some good tricks. I learn something new every day. It's fantastic. I can't get enough. Uh, I want to say thank you to everybody here, actually, anyone who's in the sport of flying. The evolution of humans towards flight. bringing a sport that was before in the sky and you couldn't really see it to people on the ground where you can show an audience like you can put in a stadium almost and it's just people are going to start sponsoring and you're just going to be able to show a sport that is new and uh, it's still progressing it still hasn't even reached the limits yet. stuff that we pretty much already know how to do in the sky and we're just taking it from the sky and bringing it into the tunnel. I think the, uh, the wind tunnel competition is one of the best things ever created. Um, it just brings the, the sport into the public's eye. Uh, that was the, probably the main problem with um, free flying as a sport. It's um, all done up there where people can't see it. The only access they get to it is video. appealing to so many different people that you could have a kid's class, a teenager class, and then a non-skydiver class, and then a skydiver class. I mean, it's, it's, it's appealing and it's something that anybody can do. You don't have to be a skydiver to really get into it. The idea of not only just falling through the air and that thought process of being able to go up, that's human flight, that's, that's actual flying. And everyone seemed like they have really good time. Different people from different tunnels too, so you can see like a lot of different styles and it's, it's nice to watch, good to learn. Just had a great time flying, using all the disciplines, flying the wind, seeing everybody express themselves in their chosen manner. It was exciting, it was fun. It's a lot of people, and the people that come to this are all really celebrating their role in human flight. What we did so far was we did uh, four rounds of two minutes each uh, in our solo free fly competition. There were some really nice maneuvers pulled off. It's nice to meet some new friends from uh, uh, out in California area who showed us also some, uh, some new maneuvers. So we got to share this all together. It's very competitive and uh, I got to pull off some really nice stunts and I was pretty happy with uh, my rounds and 
basically, I'm just here for fun, and I hope that uh, everyone else is here too, and it all goes well for everyone. Things I like to say is that I, I believe everyone in the sport of flying would benefit from uh, Sky Venture here. Uh, it's limitless, and I, I believe that everyone should try it. Everyone should get into this competition and, uh, and join us for fun. I came to the competition basically just to check it out, see how it was going to be run. Um, I definitely think it's something that later on is going to be really popular among spectators. I think that everybody has a, their own unique style which makes um, the flying like most different sports where everybody's got a little bit of different style which makes it nice you can pick up a little little bit from this person a little bit from this person combine it up and come up with something pretty cool well i think the competition was great um, organization was good public was outreached with it and uh, a lot of people can see what goes on in the sport of free flying and that's really good Flying tunnel has always been not mystical, but it, it just feels so good. Everything just feels so nice. It, you just you're in there, and, and everything inside you just calm. I mean, it's just nothing but you in the tunnel. It doesn't matter what else is going on in the world. You're in there, you're flying, and you can feel and you can see everything. And everything is just unlike anything else that there there is around. just experiencing the outcome of a new sport. Body flying is something that has been developed for some time, but right now it's there for everybody to try, for all of us to see. If you look at an event like this, it's a lot of people, the people that come to this are all really celebrating their role in human flight. They get to go out and express themselves. There is a very interesting aspect of the wind tunnel competitions, which is the communication between the public that's watching the competition and actually the athletes that are flying. I think the future of these things are just going to be just incredible, man, because you're going to be able to just have huge stadiums of people watching you, and it's, it's just going to be cool because you're really bringing a sport from the sky to the ground. It's not only for skydivers, so everyone can go there and fly. All the little kids dreaming about flying, they can just go there and fly. And this is going to definitely change the future of human flight.